We're going to use Urban View to learn about selecting parts of an image. Sometimes you may want to make changes to the brightness to only a part of the image, not the whole thing. In that case, you would need to select the portion you want to work on. The most basic selection tool is the rectangular marquee. In Urban View, using this tool is a snap. Just hold down the mouse button and drag the cursor. There, you've just selected a rectangular piece of your image. Other costly programs have other selection tools. Urban View has only a rectangular selection tool. If you want to change your selection, you have a couple of options in Urban View. First of all, if you like the shape and size of your selection, but want to change where the window is located, move your mouse cursor inside the selection and hold down the right mouse button. While holding that button down, drag the mouse. Notice that the window you drew moves to select a new part of your image. Urban View also has a couple of useful shortcuts for selecting. You can open the Create Custom Selection menu by going to Edit, Create Custom Selection. This menu lets you specify the size of the selection window. So, if you wanted to crop your image to be a specific size for a website or a publication, you could choose from one of the standard sizes here. Or, you can put in your custom size in the fields here. If you don't want specifics but want to be a little more hands-on, it's possible to even change the size of your selection freestyle. Move the cursor to the side of or corner of the marquee like this. Notice that the cursor changes to these handles. That means you can drag the corners to resize the window like this. If you want to keep the proportion of the height to the width but make the overall image bigger, Hold down the control key while you drag the handles. Here is a picture with a lot of unwanted content around the edges. Really, we just want to focus in on the center, so we need to crop the image. First, select the area where you are interested in with the rectangular marquee, and then press control Y or select edit crop selection. Cropping images is a very handy thing to be able to do. It makes sure that the frame of the image is filled with only the parts of the picture you are interested in. After you crop your image, you may realize that you cut out so much of the image that it's too small for what you want to use it for. Luckily, you can resize images in editing programs. Let's try it. Take the cropped image and go to Image, Resize, Resample to get the dialog. There are quite a few options on here. Basically, it shows you the current size of the image and the resolution of your image. There is a checkbox if you want to preserve your aspect ratio, which means if you want to change one dimension, like width, the height will change automatically, and vice versa. The resolution here can be important. If you have a low resolution image and you try to make it too big, it will come out very fuzzy and blurry even with the resampling capabilities of a program like EarthenView. These selections offer different ways that EarthenView will automatically try to make the image look as good as possible by intelligently filling in the empty space when you enlarge the image. These are just different mathematical algorithms that do that. If one doesn't work, well, try another. It may help improve the look of your enlarged image. Selection tools are very useful. With more advanced selection tools like ones found in programs like Photoshop, you can select different shapes, even random shapes, or have it select a shape following the edge of a pattern, like a face, allowing you to do a lot more exact editing. But for now, you've got the basics covered.